In the last video, we went over Webpack and how to compile and combine JavaScript files into a single file using a very basic configuration. Unfortunately, that doesn't do much for us in the realm of getting React working. Ultimately, we need to get Babel to work so that we can do React and JSX. So in this video, we're going to go over getting Babel working along with ES6 so that we can do ES6 language JavaScript, and it's going to transpile using Webpack. To get started, let's go ahead and look at the Babel website. It's at babeljs.io. And the fun thing about it is you can click on this Try It Now button, and you can just do it live. You can play with uh, JavaScript code that is ES6. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of example ES6 code. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create an object, and we're going to assign it to data. And then we're going to create a property and assign it a function, and then we're going to do a console.log. So we'll just do render and do open and close parentheses and then our open and close curly braces. Then there we go. And so now we'll just do a console.log hello ES6 world. And if you look over to the right, you'll see it automatically converted it and it took that render function that looks like we're calling a render function and it turned it into a key of render and a function render so that we can use it just normally so we basically do data.render as long as the key and the value of the function are going to be the same you can use this shortcut syntax so if we do data.render you can see on the right side at the bottom it says hello es6 world so it automatically outputs what we just did next we're going to create a constant name buddy and if you remember we use const in our webpack config basically a constant is still just a normal variable like you would use with var except it's pre-populated with information it's not the same as doing var name because it had to have a constant it needs to be populated. Now we'll do one of my favorite things in ES6 and that is to be able to output variables inside of strings without doing a bunch of concatenation. So do console log and we'll do a backtick. Then we'll do hello, do a dollar sign open curly brace and then the constant or variable that we want to use with a string and then close that off and then end with a back tick and that's going to output hello and then whatever's in that variable. If you'll look over to the right you'll see it has var name equals buddy so that's that const name equals buddy. Then we have console log hello plus name. So it did the transpile to do the concatenation like we would hope and expected it to do. So these are just a couple of the things in ES6 that'll make life a little bit easier when doing development. But now that we have this, we need to actually get that in our code base. So we'll just copy this code. We'll go over to our JavaScript file and we'll just paste it in. And now that we have it in our code file, let's go ahead and do a build of our project. Do npm run build. And you see it ran. If we run our file, we get I am a test and hello world. Those are from our first project. And then we also have hello ES6 world and hello buddy. So it really feels like it worked. However, if we open up our index file from our build and look at it, you'll see all this crazy stuff. The top section of this is Webpack stuff, so it can do module loading for us, and we don't really need to worry about that. If we'll jump to the bottom, this is really where our code lives. If we'll scroll up, you can see we have the var data equals uh, our render function as being called. It's kind of it's still the ES6 code. It didn't actually do anything. It's just Node knows how to process our ES6 code. So this has basically done exactly what our last video did and nothing really different. But now we actually want to get Babel to work. So to do that, we need to install a couple of packages. So do an npm i and we'll do Babel loader, Babel core, Babel preset ES2015. This will install Babel loader, which is used inside of Webpack. It installs Babel Core, which is what we need to do, Babel compilation and a whole bunch of other stuff. Then we're going to go ahead and load the ES2015 presets for ES6. By default, Babel does not compile anything or really do anything with your code base. You have to tell it what to use whenever dealing with your JavaScript. So to do that, you create a .babelrc. And you put this at the root of your project, and this is where you put your configuration information. And it's a simple JSON file. Create a presets key, 
and then we set ES2015 as a string inside of an array, and we're done. Now we've told our system when doing anything with Babel and doing transpiling, go ahead and use ES6 and transpile that. Now we need to actually tell Webpack to use Babel, and it's fairly simple itself. If we'll open up webpack.config.js, go down to our loaders for our JavaScript in that empty array there, and just put the string Babel. This tells Webpack to go find the Babel loader. Then the Babel loader takes the presets that we set, and it goes ahead and processes that accordingly based on that Babel RC file that we just created. So with that, we have successfully installed Babel. We have configured it with our Babel RC of what to use. And then we've told our Webpack, hey, use this whenever doing compilation of JavaScript. So now let's go ahead and see it in action. If we'll do an npm run build, does its build. If we actually run the code, we get out the exact same thing we did last time. And if we go look at our code and we jump to the bottom, you can see that we have var data equals and we have our normal object or render, we're signing it a function. And then at the below we have the var name and the console log where we do concatenation of a string. So there you can see we've done our transpiling like we expect. So that's really all it takes to configure Babel to work with Webpack. In the next video, we're actually going to set up our very basic React app so you can see what it takes to get React running and it working with Webpack.